Hi, this is JP from Otelites over Arkham. In this playthrough we are playing Gamora's pre-built deck against Nebula on standard difficulty and I am playing in standalone mode so no campaign upgrades to Nebula's encounter deck or anything like that. And uh, also Gamora is using the pre-built deck so because I beat the Brotherhood of Badoon so quickly with Gamora I felt like I really wanted to test out the strength of this pre-build and what a better um, enemy than Nebula, Gamora's uh, sweet sister that betrays Gamora. So hope this will go well. I played one test game and uh, that was a tough matchup and I was a bit able to win that test game but it could have gone either way so I'm not expecting to automatically win this uh, playthrough, but we'll do our best to make it entertaining, so let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the decks, and the last thing we need to do is to reveal two cards per player to see if we hit any techniques. So uh, we hit the Pirate Lackey, and we get the White Stance, which is a pretty bad one. So uh, we re reduce the damage to Nebula by one. I'll just lay these over here because uh, they easily they're more easy to see like that. We'll draw our opening hand. So we get set the pace, Angela, hit and run, acrobatic move, combat training, and cross counter. Okay, so let's see. We could take a risk and play Angela. Mm. But we could also play the combat training and then defeat the, hopefully, the pirate lackey we get. First thing first, we'll uh, see if we want to mulligan anything. So I think I'm keeping Angela. Then I'm thinking of keeping the set the pace and acrobatic move. Hit and run is not that good at this point. And uh, cross counter we want to keep for the last turn. And uh, I think I'm not using the combat training, so let's get two cards. Hit and run and conditioning room. Okay. So, uh, first will do is to I actually want to play the conditioning room down and I'll use the first hit to that then I will use this actually oh yeah this is an attack and ward so we have to pick this card this doesn't work Okay, well, it's an extra card, so we'll have to pick this one. So, um, conditioning room says that you uh, return the bottommost attack or thwart event from your discard pile to your hand, heal one damage from Gamora. Uh, if it's uh, only thwart and I'm looking for an attack, I can skip uh, events, but if it's both, I can't skip it. But at least we got an extra card. So I'm playing Angela, we look at the top con uh, 10 cards and if we hit an, any minions uh, we get the pirate lackey which is great. Uh, it has quick strike but we don't care because we are in uh, alter ego still. And this way we get this annoying enemies out of the deck so they don't come and quick strike us when we are in hero form okay so Angela gets into play okay so after Angela enters play we done that shuffle the encounter deck so uh, we get Angela which is really good now we could actually play the hit and run by using Milan and uh, 
think there is no way for us to get the power stone this turn. Okay, oh yeah, this should be turned over. So we'll focus on killing of the pirate lackey. So Angela, oh yeah, this reduces damage. So we want to ping this and not Nebula. So I'll flip to hero. I'll play. Acrobatic move to deal two damage to an enemy. I'll deal one here. Being, uh, remove one threat from here. Then I will remove one threat and uh, and uh, pings from. Uh, yeah, from this abili ability, the uh, white stance doesn't drop the damage, so we'll deal one there. And uh, I think we're just hitting this twice to get rid of it. And uh, that is it. We're ready up. I'll Hit the hit and run. I get another hit and run clobber and impede. Okay, well, we're definitely playing the hit and run next turn. Be ready up. Angela has one. Consequential damage. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add a evasion token here. Nebula attacks. I won't defend for this. We have the cross counter in hand. So, uh, Nepal attacks um, zero. So, oh yeah, uh, yeah, forgot to add this. So, three plus zero is three. So, I'll play this. I'll use the. I'll use in here. here. And uh, we take zero, so cross counter deals uh, prevents three damage. Then we deal one damage to an enemy and remove one threat. Okay. Encounter card. Oh yeah, then this triggers. So discard one card at random from your hand and it goes away. Okay, so we lose one of the hit and runs. Uh, okay, so I think we are playing Clobber next turn. We don't have the resources to play anything else. But that's three damage to uh, that's three damage to Nebula, and we get the Power Stone. So encounter card is uh, Barrel Roll. Inside one. Search. Uh, when revealed, place one evasion counter on Nebula's ship. We need to deal that with that somehow also at some points. Search is uh, weapon mastery. Nebula gains retaliate and uh, that gains search. So we hit this, so we have to exhaust the land because we don't have the resources and we don't want to take the damage at this point. Yeah, because we don't want to. We don't want to. Uh, uh, we don't have the resources to remove those. So we just exhaust Milano. Uh, actually, that, that's bad. No, we don't. Have, we'll take the damage. We need the Milano to play the clobber. Okay. So uh, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Oh yeah, and I took one damage from that, and it came into play. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we really don't have a lot to do this turn. I think we're just... Uh, we're just clobbering. 
for 3 damage. We grab the power stone. I will take one retaliate, we'll hit for 3 damage. We'll take a retaliate. Uh, I'm actually saving Angela so that we don't kill her off quite yet. I'll flip to um, Alter Ego. I'll use Conditioning Room to heal one. And I'll grab the bottommost. Do I want an attack or dwarf? I think dwarf would be quite good. I'll grab the bottommost dwarf. So, that is that. Okay, and no other things to do. We'll ready up. We'll draw back up to six. Now we get genius, impede, uppercut, in instincts, forward momentum, and set the pace. Uh, we add a evasion counter here. I think we are unfortunately advancing. Uh, we add three here and nebula schemes for one plus nothing. So we touched a bullet there. We're not advancing just yet. So this get, goes into play. Mm, this goes one card at random and then this we take one damage. But at least this uh, weapon master gets discarded. Uh, this white stance unfortunately removes one card. So we lose the upper cut. Okay, well, we're not dealing that much damage then. We'll just try to negate the. We'll try to get rid of some of the um, ship counters, uh, the evasion counters next turn, but uh, that was the attack, so uh, we get Honor among Thieves, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a criminal is discarded. Oh, well, we get a pirate lucky, and uh, again, uh, lucky we were in in uh, uh, alter ego. So with that, the gains also tough. Okay, well, not that bad. That was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So first thing we do is I'll look for an event. Uh, we hit an attack event, so we'll pick that up. Then we'll heal one damage and grab the bottommost, uh, uh, grab the attack. There are not that many fourth cards here. Okay, mm, I think I'll have to heal and then I will actually do I need to heal? I could block with Angela. I'll skip the healing. No. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll skip the healing for now. So we'll flip to uh, hero mode. We could actually use the interrupt first hit to deal with the pirate lucky. But first uh, we'll do the... We'll actually... Hmm. Use Milan to play. Uh, use Genius to remove two from here. That is must for this turn. Then uh, we'll we'll set the pace. We remove one. We'll ping this for one. We'll. Uh, we'll play the Keen Instincts, use the Keen Instincts to and impede to play the Forward Momentum. 
so we remove five and deal one damage here so we got the uh, Actually, did I already do that this turn? I think I did. Yeah, uh, sorry, we don't deal that, but I'll, I'll have the first hit for that ne uh, in the villain phase. So, uh, at least we got rid of all of the threat. And uh, Angela will this pirate lucky for two, so we can defeat it before it hits us. We'll keep the first hit in hand, we're ready up. Draw out the four, we get another first hit. Vax, decisive blow and plan of attack. So uh, we are missing a fourth event to really deal damage with the decisive blow, but it is what it is. So we go to the villain phase. Uh, we add a counter here, we'll add two threats. Nebula attacks. Let's see. I think I will uh, defend with Angela. So two plus two is four. Angela is defeated. And we discard one card at random. And we lose one of the first hits, that's okay, we have still have the other one. This goes away. And we'll first hit the pirate lucky before it hits, so we get rid of that. And uh, that is the attack of the nebula, and then we get an encounter bar, and it is cutthroat ambition, and it surges into the blind side. I think we are using, we, we really don't have anything, well, um, we could play the decisive flow next turn. We also would like to play, maybe we play cracks. So, do I just stun the first player or do I spend two? Resources. I have tracks and decisive blow or exhaust Milan. Then I can't play tracks, so I would be playing the decisive blow. Okay, I'm I'm thinking of going the decisive blow route. Okay. Mm. So we'll uh, exhaust Milan. Yeah, that is it. And uh, oh yeah, we place one threat from that, so we have three there. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next zero phase. So do I want to advance to phase two at this point, or do I want to still build up? I think I'm still building up. So let's see. I will plan of attack to look for four cards and take an attack. Mm. We'll get hit and run. Okay, well... That really doesn't change that much. Uh, we are decisive blowing. So hit and run and Rax goes away. Deal 4 here and then I'll add 4 for 3. So, uh, Nebula is at 1. That is our turn. Uh, we'll go actually to Alter. Uh, do we dare to go to Alter Ego? No, uh, we'll just then stay in Hero. So we get Impede, Keen Instincts, Energy, Set the Pace and Nebula Ally, which we can't play. We'll go to the villain phase, we'll add a evasion counter here, 
yeah, three here. Nebula attacks. I think I will defend. So two plus one. Okay, so this gets removed and adds one, then this comes into play and adds one, so we're at five of six. And we get Weapon Master with searches, we'll discard until we get the technique. Uh, okay, well, this sucks. Are there any more techniques here? Okay, so Nebula against Stalwart. And that is the turn, and that actually triggers. Nebula gets tough. Okay. So, uh, that was the villain phase. Let's see what we can do in the next hero phase. So, this is quite a... <laughs> difficult situation. I think we want to let Nebula attack us once to get rid of all of those techniques. After that we can try to roll into phase two. So we'll build up. So first thing we'll use Milan and energy to get rid of two counters here. And uh, I'll play the Impede, I'll use, actually, I'll use Nebula to uh, play the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have resources to play twice, unfortunately, so I'll just use these to play Impede, I'll ping for one, remove three, and I'll set the pace, remove one, but I can't ping for more this turn. I think this is an okay, okay situation at the moment. We'll ready up. We'll draw back up to five. We get uh, combat training, plan of attack, Kamora sword, god slayer, and forward momentum. Really would like to get these swords into play. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add counter here, uh, we'll defend, so Nebula hits for 2, plus 1, and give the villain an additional boost card, so 0, luckily, uh, we'll take only 1, but then we'll give a tough here, come on, this goes away, and Nebula loses stalwart. Uh, we'll take one damage, this goes away, we add one threat here, this goes away. Okay, uh, well, the encounter card for this turn is... Honor Among Thieves. So we search for a, a criminal and there are none, but we unfortunately get the acceleration token here. So, we dodged a bullet there. Uh, we can try to build up a bit next round and uh, start by uh, trying to get Nebula to phase 2 and try to well, uh, try to manage the situation even more. So that is that villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, um, let's start by playing... Uh, hmm. I have the forward momentum to remove the threat and ping the top of... Yeah, I don't need to play... Uh, so I'll plan of attack to look for four cards on top of my deck to take... We are not ready to, or actually, yeah, I'll, 
Uh, this is hard. Okay, so I play forward momentum to remove the thought. Then I need some way to deal one damage. I don't have it that. Actually, if I play Gamora Sword after we play, okay, it doesn't help. So I'll grab Clobber. So we have. We know that we have a decisive blow for us next round. Also, just checking which cards we. I think we could save. Uh, we don't have a. Uh, we could pop into Alter Ego to fetch a sport event from our Discord. Yeah. Mm. Let's see what we can do now. So, let's see, let's see. Yeah, the order doesn't matter at all. We'll actually, we won't play that. We'll play the clobber. We won't advance yet, okay? So, we play the clobber. I'll use these to play it. I'll return it back to hand. And we only remove the top, but we also remove one threat. And then uh, we use Milan. We use combat training on Clobber. Which one of these we want? I think we want the Gamora Sword. Yeah, so we'll use God Slayer to play Gamora Sword. And uh, we'll actually go to Alter Ego. Oh no, 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 back up. Uh, we weren't doing that. <laughs> I totally forgot what I was doing. So we discarded Combat Training and Clubber and Exhausted Milan to remove two from here. That's right. Then uh, mm, we'll flip to Alter Ego. I'll use this to heal one and uh, grab one attack. Okay, so next turn we have the Dwarf from the bottom. I'll spend this, this and this to play Gamora Sword. Okay, that's that's correct way. So that is our whole turn. We ready up. We draw back up to six. We have one card left in our deck, so we get Cross counter, clubber, decisive blow, plan of attack, uppercut, and acrobatic move. So, a decent damage dealing turn coming up. Let's see what the villain phase brings. So, that is the hero phase. Let's go to the villain phase. Uh, Nebula adds one evasion counter here. We add two because of the acceleration token. Nebula schemes for one plus one. And we place one evasion counter here. So we dodge the advance there, luckily. And the encounter card is advanced. Damn it. Okay. Um, okay, so Nebula schemes for something. This comes into play. Well, that sucks. So uh, we advance. We place two evasion counters here. And we discard. So this gets discarded. This is for next turn. Then uh, this gets discarded. Okay, we missed the obligation again. And uh, we start with three here. Three up nine. Okay, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Oh yeah, we... Uh, let's see, do we need to activate that special? Just a moment. Oh yeah, uh, it attaches and we have to resolve that, so... 
we lose one card at random. So we lose the uppercut. Well, I think we weren't going to play that. And uh, I think then we advanced. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so let's just shuffle this. Because I think I discarded the card before he ran out of the deck, so... If I didn't, it's only one card and I, I don't care that much. Uh, okay. So, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, uh, let's see what we can do now. So, I think... Uh, have the acrobatic move and decisive blow, but let's first heal for one. So I'm at eight, so I think I'm skipping the uh, recovery. Oh, damn it. I don't have a discard, so my plan failed. Uh, so let's check the top card. It's an attack. Well, unfortunately, we'll. I think we'll save the decisive blow for next turn. Or, yeah, okay. I'll plan of attack. Seven cards. We find hit and run. And, uh, hmm. We'll flip. And, uh, I think I'm doing a acrobatic move, so we reduce it by one, so we still deal one, and we remove one from here, we go to phase two, 17 health we need to deal, uh, or damage we need to deal to win, and uh, I think we have to slow down the Uh, hmm. Okay, so I did uh, a two-player attack event. Uh, we deal one damage to an enemy. Deal it here, and this is not an attack; it's a response. So we can ping it through the white stance. So sixteen more damage. We'll play uh, hit and run. I deal two damage, I deal one damage. I'll remove two from here. And then I'll ping for one and remove one. Okay. And I played an attack, so I'll ping for one. 13, then I think I will use first hit. I don't have the Milan anymore. Yeah, I'll play the first hit to deal two damage. So I'll deal one, then I'll ping for one, then I will hit for three. So I'll deal two. I think that's right. Nine more damage. So we're ready up. Uh, that is our turn. We'll keep the decisive blow in hand. Get four cards. Got set the pace, first hit Angela cross counter. So we really need the combo of set the pace and decisive blow to finish the game of next turn. And uh, we also have the con cross counter here, so that's really good. Should be able to do this. Uh, so we go to the villain phase. 
we add four, uh, five, because we add one here. Okay, so uh, we add six because of the. Okay. Nebula attacks, I won't defend. So, 3 plus 2, I'll use the cross counter. There's Milano for that. I'll negate the 3 damage, I'll deal 1 damage here, remove 1 threat from here. Then we discard 1 card at random. Okay, so we lose the first hit. This goes away. And uh, counter card. Uh, okay, so that's okay. Uh, we place one threat. That's okay. Search and sound the alarms. So we, we did it, boys and girls. We are two here. That's okay. Sound the alarms doesn't affect us. That is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, and last turn of the game. I uh, will deal 3 damage here by attacking. Then we will set the pace. We'll remove 1. We'll deal 1. And the uh, last thing we do is we play Decisive Blow to deal 7 damage, which will drop to 5, but that's enough to win the game. So, that was a good game, in my opinion, a really swinging game. Uh, I think we would have lost next turn, because we didn't have enough uh, power to remove the threat this turn, or the counters, evasion counters from Nebula's ship, so a really tight game, I think, uh, yeah, one more turn uh, or um, advance at the last in a, a villain phase we would have lost, so that was uh, Gamora with the pre-built deck against Nebula on standard difficulty, a really good matchup, I highly recommend you try it out, even if you can't play your um, ally nebula or get uh, mm, where is the ally lost it oh well doesn't matter or get the uh, min minion into play this is a really fun fun and challenging scenario to play and i'm confident that the pre-built deck can handle with this scenario. You just need to know when to stop and thwart and deal with the evasion counters and when to burst your damage. But thanks for watching and until next time.